Ladies and gentlemen, I am Ashton Peterson, and today I'm going to be showing you the difference between the real and the fake ASRV. Let's dive in. All right, here they are. Can you guys tell which one's the real one and which one's the fake? No? Fake? Real. Now, originally when I first ordered these, I got this one first from DHgate, because there's no way in hell I was going to pay $68 for a t-shirt. No way. But then I decided, you know what, I want to know the difference. So I ended up ordering this one thinking that it was going to be this one. Now I don't know if like this one is a previous model or if it's so fake fake that it just looks like that. You know, like back when they first started making Supreme fakes and how bad they were with the patches on the front and they'd be ripping off and the strands would be hanging out of the sleeves and the ends. Yeah. But no, I think this one is a previous, previous model. This one's current. This one I just bought. But if we look at them in the collar, this one says ASRV Technical Sportswear, large. Now it says on DHgate to order these in two sizes up because they're measured in Asian sizes. But I didn't listen. I got mine one size up thinking I might get away with it. It looked really good, nice and sporty and tight, but it's too tight. This one though, this one fits just right. I got it in large just to compare to the other one. I'll show you guys in a second how they fit, but it fits the torso just nice. The length though, the the length I can see on some people liking, but it's a little too long for me. I really like the length on this one. This one's long. It's long, long. Now, the trademark design that they put their stamps on, the 267-54385, maybe that's a dead giveaway that they're not the same model. I'm not sure. I just really like the brand. To me, ASRV is like, how would I put it? It's like futuristic, but it's not futuristic. It's like dystopian, like Hunger Games or Maze Runner. I really like what they've done with athletic wear. I just hate how much they cost. That's why I'm making this video. Now, if we look on the back side of these, this is also a dead giveaway that they're fake oh yeah look at those designs <laughs> on this side much more enlarged ASRV technical sports near sports near <laughs> principal use all condition training trademark two six seven five four three eight five designed in China logo simplified symmetrical wings but there's no wings on this shirt. I do really like the wings though, and it's a nice logo for them. It's really aesthetic, which is what they're trying to go for, aesthetic revolution. Now on this one, this one, it's a lot more smaller. The reflection is a lot better. ASRV, technical sports wear, correct spelling. Principal use, all condition training, trademark 12.333.40, designed in the US of A, Logo, simplified, symmetrical wings. I do really like the design on this one for the back. It looks a lot more, how to put it, minimalistic. Yeah, minimalistic. I don't like the color on this one though. No, that's not true. I do like the color on this one, but I was just expecting it to be this color. I was expecting it to be white. But this one is definitely pale or off-white. It's still nice, but it just doesn't fit most of my wardrobe. What else can I show you? This. This is what I can show you. This little design right here. Now you're probably wondering, Ashton, what the hell are you talking about? It's just the side hem of the t-shirt. But no, 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 no. On this t-shirt, the cut is sewed. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, 
right there. Yeah, it's cut. And the sewing is nice and reflective. Ain't gonna be breaking on you anytime soon. No way. No, sir. Same on the other side. Nicely stitched. And also, this little design right here, Silver Light, which I think is their trademark branding for the material they use on their t shirt. Sweat wicking, no BO, you're not stinking up the gym. Oh, yeah. Looking good and smelling good. Now, the design on the front, though, I, I do like the design on the front of this one, but I wish it was reflective like the one on this one. Let me show you. No. As you guys can see, the logo on the front of this one is a lot more reflective. Looks really nice just for those gym selfies you're taking with the flash in the mirror, covers up your face and just accents your body. Oh yeah, I, I love those selfies too. They're easy. They're a nice staple to the Finsta. Now this one though, I mean, it, it kind of reflects, but it's not reflective reflective like this one. This one's like that 3M reflective. It's still nice. I like it. Oh, the stitching. The stitching on this one is a lot better. It's a lot more smooth, I'd say. A lot more comfortable. This one, on the other hand, just trying to make do with what they got, I guess. I mean, I ain't saying that it's uncomfortable. I still work out in this. I, I like this t-shirt. I really like it a lot. But this one, this one is comfy, comfy. And it looks good. It's just long. Hey, this, is, this is damn long, long. Look at that. All right. If you guys are wondering what it looks like in person, let me show you. Boom. A fake ASRV. Now, it's not a terrible shirt. I really like this shirt, but at times it can be a little too tight for me. Sometimes I don't feel like flexing that hard. It can be a little toolish, you know? But it's a super nice gym shirt. I love wearing this shirt to the gym. Deadlifts, squats, bicep curls, burpees, pull-ups, you name it. This shirt, it's got you. It's got you. It can take sweat, grime blood, tears. It'll get you through your workout no matter what. God, I should really be an advertising agent. That's beyond the point. On to the next shirt. Boom. The real ASRV, which you guys have been waiting for. Now, I really like the fit on this one. Fits the torso just nice. But as I said previously, the length, the length is long. Long, long, like tall boys only long. Like, I suppose you could tuck your shirt in. Oh, I also have a fake pair of ASRV shorts, but I don't have a real pair to compare. So, a video for later. Oh yeah, yeah. Don't look too bad when you tuck it in. But I think that defeats the whole purpose of the brand. It's aesthetic revolution after all, right? It's supposed to droop low, look symmetrical, amplify your fit, that physique. Now the logo, it isn't reflective, but I have full confidence in this logo that if I drop a barbell or a plate, or if I put it through the washer and dryer, this, this isn't tearing off, this is fine. Still wish it was reflective though. One thing I did forget to show you guys was the tags. Look at that. Proof of authenticity. Next thing you know, we'll be selling all of this on StockX. I told not though. Get in while you can. Next thing you know, the fakes will be selling like crazy. Replicas will be perfect. And ASRV will be expensive as ever. SRV, ladies and gentlemen. All right, what do you guys think? What do you like better, the fake or the real? 
let me know in the comment section below. I'm Ashton Peterson. Don't forget to like and subscribe.